G'day, uh, John from Rimfire Hives. Uh, we've had a call out today to a log that's in, in trouble, a log hive. Uh, I came out yesterday and there's just fried fly all over it. So I put on these uh, fly trap things. And as you can see, they are fantastic for catching forward fly. So that's just overnight and I've got a couple of hundred there. But anyway, there's still forward fly coming in and out of the hive. And so we're going to open it up and see how bad the situation is and see if we can get the brood into a box. It's a uh, tetragonula, you can tell by the brood. There's the advancing front here and the receding front. It's a very small hive. Uh, doesn't look like the forward fly I've got too much. So it all looks pretty good at the moment. Now we've got to keep an eye out for this queen. We've got to find that queen. Okay. Put these together. I just don't want that queen falling out of that side there. If she is over there. Oh. Right. Oh, damn. Now I just had a look at the brood and I was wrong before. This is the advancing front here. And that is the receding front there. How can you tell? Uh, they're darker colour and they're Oh, I don't know, you can, well, you can nearly see how they're open there, the pupae are nearly ready to come out. So that's all the receding front, those damaged ones. It's a very small brood. It's going to be a bit tricky because the brood's interwoven amongst certain sticks here. So I'm going to try and, you know, you don't damage it as at least amount as you can. So we'll just start working your way and cut it free. And I've got one little visitor there, get out of there. Oh, in there. See if we can cut it free without the least amount of damage as we can. It's like a surgical operation here. Try and, oh, there's a lot, there's a stick right there, unfortunately. Okay, we'll have to work around it. It'll have to come with us, I think. Now the queen will be up here somewhere. Oh dear, I just, oh, I just squashed some brood there. Bugger. Okay. Oh. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, there's one major stick in there that's making it hard. Oh, that broke it. Oh. Oh, it's stirring them up now. Oh dear. Sorry, bees. Okay, what did we say? That's the top there. Brood on there somewhere. Well, we're gonna have to try and stand that up there. Might just stand him up, I think. And then we'll just get the receding front and put beside it, I think. Because otherwise it's just not gonna fit. I'll just snip that bit off there. Otherwise I won't get the lid on. Oh, it would have to be a great big chunk of timber. <laughs> right oh, and I hopefully I haven't squashed the queen there. There we go. 
Now we might just put the receding front beside it. Splinters, or whatever you call them. Mm. This is very stiff and hard to get out. So, just to the right there, are they pollen pots? Yeah, they look like pollen seed. Yep. And they store the pollen for uh, protein. The um, all the honey is for carbohydrate. The pollen's their protein. Now we don't really want any of the pollen and stuff because it encourages the pests that come in. Ah. We don't want to put any of that in. Oh, there's one great stick right in amongst all that brood. Damn, boy. Nicely. There we go, I just broke it. Just Nice close up look. Wow. Can't see the queen. Just cut these sticks off. Right. Right, that looks like all the brood out of this side. Starting to sweat up a bit, I can't see, but I don't see the queen. Okay, we've um, we've moved all the brood that we could find, and now we start sucking up the bees because it's all about numbers. The more bees you have in the hive, the more likely you are to succeed. So we'll sit here for uh, probably an hour and suck up as many bees as I can. I'll just pop this putter into the fridge then for about five minutes just to cool them down just so they're not as active and then I'll drop them in the box so they don't just all take off on me and hopefully I'll find the queen in here somewhere too because I haven't seen her yet I'm hoping to find her Okay, we've been puttering up the bees for probably the last 45 minutes to an hour maybe and I don't know how many you'd estimate to be in there but anyway, that's about the best we've got so I'm just going to go and refrigerate them for about five minutes just to let them slow them down so I can drop them in the box and they won't take off. So into the fridge with you guys. Hey, uh, just another note. My daughter, who is filming, just said, what about all these bees here that are in the air flying? And these ones, they've attracted anything that may have looked like their entrance. But I think anything that's flying, as soon as uh, we put this up close to the position, you can see them already coming. I only just put it here a moment ago. And they're already there, there's one just landed then. So I might cover that up a little bit so they're not, they're obviously going to have a dark spot there. So gradually I'll come to the centre of that, I'll put a bit of propolis around the entrance. And uh, in a second we'll pop those refrigerated bees back in and uh, then we're just about done. Hey, um, I think I've only done this once before but I've got the opportunity being near a house with a hose and everything hose the log down, get rid of all that honey, so because the forest fly are here in the hundreds of thousands now, so it will help get rid of those forest fly, wash bees out of the, the log, if we're real keen we could get around and put up, put up whatever bees are on the ground there, but we've got most of them. Right, oh, we've given the bees out in the putter a bit of a cool down, so they're all moving very slowly now. I'll drop them in here, and I've got a little present 
to go with them. Oh, get the top open. And the little present is for the forward fly. There you go, get that in yours. That's for any forward fly that are in there. They can. Oh, look out, little girl. Oh, can't. There we go. Didn't squash any. Oh, there's one there. Oh, didn't squash any. That's good. Oh, you can see, I just dropped that in. The bees are walking on it, and there's one forward fly stuck to it right there already. Off. I was going to cover that up, but you know, those bees are just about gone from there now. But what I'm going to do, because there's still hundreds of forward fly hanging around, I'm going to lay another little present for them in this discarded log and kill as many of them as I can. So that's it for the day. Uh, hopefully we've successful and uh, saved that hive. Uh, I don't know whether you could see, but there was like hundreds and hundreds of forward fly there. And there was a lot of them inside the hive. So uh, we don't know, but it might have gotten erected and they might have been able to protect themselves. I don't know, but there was just too many hanging around for my liking. Okay, well hopefully we're successful and we've got a strong box set. G'day, uh, John from Rimfire Hives. Uh, we've had a call out today to a log that's in, in trouble, a log hive. Uh, I come out yesterday and there's just forward fly all over it so I put on these uh, fly trap things and as you can see they are fantastic for catching forward fly so that's just overnight and I've got a couple of hundred there but anyway there's still forward fly coming in and out of the hive and so we're going to open it up and see how bad the situation is and see if we can get the brood into a box. <laughs> 